Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from Diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, how nutrition or nutritional supplementation has helped you or your loved ones, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the bright side or recommended on the bright side, you can call the bright side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also purchase longevity products right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, have news stories, blog posts on both our websites, uh, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase all your Longevity products off the sites as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a business, you can be an entrepreneur, and you can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can change lives. You can save lives. That is not hyperbole. That's not an exaggeration. You can save lives with nutrition. You can save lives by getting people on a nutritional supplement program. Do you have to do other things? Sure. You got to do other things. You got to manage your stress, your cortisol levels. You got to change the way you eat. It's really a lifestyle issue, but there's nothing more important than getting on a good nutritional supplement program that can help you lose weight, lower blood pressure, reduce your, uh, reduce the amount of prescription medication that you're taking, reduce the amount of doctor's visit that doctor's visits that you have to go through. Just give you a better life from a physical perspective. And if you want to be in business helping people understand this, there's no better business than you could, that you can choose. And really inexpensively for a one-time $25 fee than to join the Brightside Ben team. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up right off the websites brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And for that one-time $25 fee, you can even just get your products at the wholesale price, even if you're not interested in being an entrepreneur and and uh, enjoying all the benefits of being an entrepreneur, if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, you can do just that. Call 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and click on the Join the Team link. Okay, we're back on the Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. We have been talking about uh, the relationship between cortisol and cholesterol very important relationship. In fact, they're almost the same thing, cortisol and cholesterol. This is so important when it comes to chemistry, understanding how chemistry proceeds, biochemistry biochemistry proceeds in the body simply by things changing shape, molecules changing shape. We'll just say things changing shape, trying to simplify everything here because it's easy to tune out when it's, you hear these scientific terms. So forget the science about molecules. Things changing shape. Tinker toys. Chemistry is tinker toys. If you can make tinker toys, if you can play with tinker toys, you can understand chemistry. Cholesterol is a chassis tinker toy. It's a base. 
And then by sticking different things on that Tinker Toy base, you get estrogen or testosterone or vitamin D or, or um, bile for, is, a part, is similar to cholesterol in this way. All your youth and fertility and stress management hormones are sim similar in this way. Cortisol is a chassis. Its levels go up when you need to make things because it's a chassis. So the body, when it needs to make cortisol or when it needs to make vitamin D or it needs to make estrogen or testosterone, when it needs to make things, when it's upregulated, when it's stimulated, jacked up, however you want to, whatever term you want to use, you'll make more cholesterol. And guess what? When the body is stimulated, you're going to have more pressure or more stress on the heart. The more work the body's doing, the more, the more the heart has to work. Under conditions of nutritional deficiency, this can show up as heart disease. This can end up leading to problems with heart health, heart disease. And the cholesterol will be elevated because of the stress, because of the duress, because of the upregulation. And the medical model, the geniuses, genius that it is, I'm not blaming any individuals here, we're talking about the model, the paradigm, the medical model, genius that it is, being sarcastic here, will think it's the cholesterol, will blame the cholesterol, and will lower the cholesterol. It is so inane and ridiculous once you understand just a smattering of biochemistry. When the body is in duress or survival or stress management mode, stress management, you notice I said stress management, because it's not the stress per se that is the problem, it's... It's the way the body's managing it. It loses its ability to manage it effectively over time, and that's where the problem comes in. The body has a stress management system. It's, stress is not the problem. In fact, if you want to be technical about it, it's strain that is the problem. Stress and strain. Stress is the stuff that's coming in, the pressure. Strain is how the body handles it. When there's too much stress, the body becomes too, much, too strained. And that's where the problem is. It's not the stress. It's that it's too much stress. So when the body's under duress, survival, stress, whatever term you want to use, and that can be from, from sugar, it can be from the wrong food, it can be from leaky gut, it can be from uh, hypoxia or deficiencies in oxygen, it can be from inflammation, or it can be from mental things. It can be from psychological things. It can be from a bad relationship. It can, it, to a body, a bad relationship equals elevated blood sugar in terms of stress, at least. The physiologic, the, the psychological stresses and the physiologic stresses have the same effect on the body. The body doesn't know the difference between something physical and psychological or emotional. So if you have an emotional issue, psychological issue, mental issue, mental burdens, bad relationships, bad jobs, hating life, that's just as bad from a biochemical standpoint, causes the same problems as elevated blood sugar or as digestive distress. So it's all kind of the same thing. When you have these kinds of problems, your body will make more cholesterol because it's helping you. It's dealing with, with the, that's how it deals with it. It, it needs to make cortisol. It needs to make hormones. It needs to build if, you're breaking, if your body is breaking down. And this is where the medical model is completely brain dead. The cholesterol is high as a stress management tool. And also high in response to sugar, which as I say is a major duress. Sugar, elevated sugar and elevated blood cholesterol all go hand in hand. Interestingly, when the body is under a lot of duress, chronic duress, the thyroid will slow down and this will further mess up the cholesterol levels. This is the triangle of disease, you guys. So the cholesterol is high as a stress, stress management tool and it, it, it is this duress involving sugar, nutritional deficiency, digestive toxicity that is the problem. Not the cholesterol. It's the nutritional deficiency and the digestive toxicity and the blood sugar issues and the psychological issues that are the problem. And this is why statin drugs, which clearly lower cholesterol, have never been shown to have much of an effect on overall mortality. Because lowering cholesterol is the booby prize. That's not what we're looking for. Not lowering the number. We're looking to get healthier. And that's not the role, and it never will be the role of any prescription drugs, including statin drugs. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming up. Uh, we got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Farmer Glenn, uh, who's going to talk to us about fermented food and soil uh, and, and the importance of uh, good soil. We'll take your calls in this next segment. If you do have questions, call 866-73, uh, call 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. We are back.
back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. Uh, I've got Farmer Glenn, my buddy Farmer Glenn, coming on at the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk some soil. We're going to talk dirty. We're going to talk about dirt and the importance of dirt and the importance of soil. The importance of dirt may be the most important thing when it comes to health anyway. Dirt may be the most important thing we interact with is the dirt. And that's, to me, that's incredibly fascinating. Understanding dirt is very, very important. This, in a nutshell, this is what Dr. Wallach's great and brilliant insight was many years ago, was the importance of dirt when it comes to health and how exactly dirt works. Farmer Glenn is an, a dirt expert as well as a microbe expert at, from a farmer perspective, not necessarily from a researcher or scientist, scientific perspective or therapeutic perspective, but from a farmer perspective, and I find that incredibly fascinating. He's going to be doing a, speaking along with myself and Dr. Wallach next Tuesday in Longmont, Colorado, and uh, we'll get you more information about that as, uh, as the week proceeds. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's hit the phones and say good morning to John in Michigan. How you doing, buddy? Good morning. Uh, good morning, man. Uh, always a great moment. Uh, I was just wondering if you could help me with a friend who has his body temperature drops. And, it uh, he's it in drops? The what do you mean yeah. it drops? It's constantly low or it drops fun? No, it, he'll, he'll, he, it goes as low as 96. But, I mean, is it constantly low, or is it just drop spontaneously? He'll just be sitting around, and his body temperature will drop. That'll happen, yes. And, and right now, he's, we're in northern Michigan. He's in his house, and he's dressed like he has to go out. Okay, well, the two, major, the, two, the two major systems that control the body temperature are the thyroid and then also the adrenal glands. That's the okay. adrenal thyroid complex. That's the third... That's our third point on the triangle of disease. Now, it, it can happen. There's other issues, too, that can, that can uh, cause the problem, that, that can cause uh, body temperature problems. But typically, uh, if you're not responding to temperature correctly, you're looking at a cortisol issue or a thyroid issue. Third point on the triangle of disease, that is uh, whenever you have a problem with the third point, if you're really going to correct the, pro correct the uh, I issue where the problem is, you want to work at the first two points, blood sugar and digestive system. And this is not a, this is a guy who's got to have other health issues. This cannot be occurring in a body that is perfectly healthy. It's a part of a syndrome. Does that make sense? You follow me? Do you know this guy? Or do you uh, know him yeah, well? Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's, he's quite sharp. He, he, uh, okay. takes How old? Good, How old? Uh, he takes supplements. How old? But I, I'm, how old? How old? He's yeah. in his early 80s. Okay, yeah, it's not unusual. The body starts to break down. So what you got to do is you got to right away, you got to get him on a good big-time nutritional supplement program, especially stress management supplements like uh, the B-complex, all the B-complex, vitamin C. Um, and by the way, both of those are, you'll find those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The water-soluble nutrients in general are stress management nutrients. And for the more long-term, I would be working with vitamin D. Making sure you uh, have any digestive, uh, vitamin D is also a stress management hormone, or s stress management substance, it's a hormone slash vitamin. And uh, uh, you, I, I'm not a, as big a believer in supplementing with vitamin D as much as I am uh, getting it from the sun, if you can get, this, get them out in the sun a little bit, not burning of course, but just getting them out in the sun a little bit. And then working at the first two points of the triangle of disease, stabilizing the blood sugar. Food is not this gentleman's friend. Nutrition is, but food is not this gentleman's friend. So the less he eats, the better off he's going to be as long as he's getting his nutrition. Okay, and that means a, a supplement program. You said he's on one, but I'm not, we don't know what kind he's on. So making right. sure he's on a good supplement program. Healthy Star Pack is the best thing. You know, I could tell him all, at, eight, at 80 years old, he's not going to want to change his entire life, everything he's doing. But get him on the Healthy Star Pack, and that would be the simplest he's thing to do. He's pretty sharp and spry for his age, yeah. Uh... I, you know, if he, if he wants to do it right, then he, want, then he needs to change the way he eats. That's the, that's the most important thing. Eliminate problem foods, the fasting, the food diary, pretty much everything we talk about because this is the, his issues are at the third point on the triangle of disease. So basically, return to the triangle, hit the digestive system and hit the blood sugar system, get him on nutritional supplement program, slow calm, uh, calm the body down with slow, deep SDR, slow, deep rhythmic breathing as well. John, I want to get to a couple he was, more. He was saying he was living, he was uh, in a movie theater and. Uh, he it was 65 degrees, and after he sat there for his while, while his uh, his shoulders started hurting, his legs cramped up. Uh, yeah, he's not adjusting to temperature. The body's supposed to adjust to temperature. He's not doing it. His temperature regulation system is messed up. Now, assuming he doesn't have a brain tumor or something like that, because it's the hypothalamus, the part of the brain 
there's a there's a central control system in the part of the brain, the, in the center towards the center of the brain that controls all this. So he doesn't have a tumor or something, which doesn't I, I would doubt. I, it, you're looking probably at the thyroid and the adrenal glands. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank Thank you, John. Have a great day, man. God bless you, my friend. All right. Let's go to Chris in Texas. Good morning, Chris. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. First, I want to ask you, are there any phone numbers that I can call that are like for alt media where I can just hear the broadcast? Because unfortunately, you're not on the airwaves anymore in the Austin, Texas area, unfortunately. I know. What happened? I I noticed that a couple weeks ago. I don't know what happened. We were on Logos, weren't we? Uh, you'll have to ask them. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I, I, I really, I, I really don't want to speculate. Okay. All right. I, I don't have, I have no idea. Uh, it's on YouTube. My buddy Kevin Peterson. Hi, Kevin. I know he's listening in Moscow, actually, of all places. Uh, puts it on YouTube. So there's a YouTube channel with it, with all the shows. You can listen to that. Uh, no commercials. So you might want to do but, that. Uh, I, I, I... I, I want to let you get get on with your guest, but uh, we really need to figure out a way to get you back on the I'm Austin gonna, Airways again. Yeah, I'm going to call uh, Logos and see what's up over there. She, I, the gal, Deborah, is a friend of mine. And I, I, I noticed it a few weeks ago I wasn't on in Austin. But I only have a, a minute All here right, if well, you have a question. Uh, let me – I was going to discuss turmeric, but actually Love first turmeric. I want to ask you about CoQ – First, I want to ask you about CoQ10, and the reason why is because this is actually the first dietary supplement that I ever tried, and when I wasn't using any dietary supplements at all, and that includes anatoblock because I hadn't discovered uh, anatabine, anatoblock back then. We, I already asked you about that before. You, you were unfamiliar with it. But, I'm, familiar, uh, I'm familiar with anato, though. Anato is great stuff. I haven't heard of it. Anatoblock or anato? You know, anato is like a plant. Is that what you're referring to? Uh, anatabine. Yeah, the anatabine. The active ingredient. And yeah, anato, anato is amazing stuff for vitamin E, especially, and for stress. Uh, go ahead, though. Oh, what were you going to ask me? Okay, but but about CoQ10, I, the first thing I noticed when I tried it was uh, my breathing improved. Everything I mean, it was amazing. Improved. It was like a, it was it's like amazing. I was getting more oxygen. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. And by the way, statin drugs suppress your body's ability to make CoQ10. CoQ10 is not a vitamin in the sense that your body can make it, but we don't. If it doesn't hurt to take more. And it is awesomely important, incredibly important. It, I would consider it to be a conditionally essential nutrient, especially, especially if you're on a statin drug, and extra, especially we'll say if you have heart health challenges. But it's an energizing substance, a detoxifying substance, just ridiculously important, although non-essential. You know, I mean, it's not like a vitamin where you have to have it, but it sure doesn't hurt to take 100 milligrams a day extra. Oh, another, uh, another thing. Is, is it better to take uh, NAC, NAC, between meals and not with meals? You know, it could go either way. I would say with meals because you got all the protein. You know, it's an amino acid, so all of the amino metabolizing juices, if you will, are kicking in when you're eating a meal. I don't know, but on the other hand, on an empty stomach, you might get faster absorption. I, I don't know. Six of one, a half dozen of the other, basically. Once you start supplementing with it on a regular basis, I don't know that that, that matters too much. As long as you have a steady state level, that's a higher steady state level of NAC. Does that help, Chris? I, got, I mean, even if it doesn't, you got to call back because we're out of time. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Chris. Have a great day. All right. So we got Farmer Glenn coming up in our next segment. I'm, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to, uh, actually, we're going to be talking to Farmer Glenn here. So so hold off on that number if you've got questions about uh, anything we're speaking about or comment or success story you'd like to share. Save it for tomorrow. We love taking your phone calls on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. 2470. I will be doing a talk with Farmer Glenn and Dr. Wallach next Tuesday in Longmont, Colorado. And I actually don't know much more about that. So we're going to let Farmer Glenn tell us a little bit if he's there. Farmer Glenn? Hey, good morning, Ben. Yes, I'd love to talk to you about this event. (laughs) Okay, it's okay. I call you Farmer Glenn, right? Hey, hey, you can call me whatever you want, Ben. I I love Uh, the way that sounds. How long have we known each other now, Farmer Glenn? (laughs) Oh, gosh, I think uh, maybe four years. Um, I just 
Uh, I'm, uh, did you just join you Longevity know, when I met you? Were you just did you just yeah, come aboard? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, and I heard you talking. I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy knows what he's doing. And then you uh, saw me at convention, and I was just kind of hanging by myself. And you were nice enough to come up and say hi, and that is just uh, oh, representative of what it what it means to be in Longevity. That's awesome. Um, Good deal. So, so uh, tell us a little bit about this talk, because I don't actually, I know I'm on at 4 o'clock, but I don't know much more than that, uh, where, where it's at. And a phone number, too, if you have, for people to contact. Uh, okay. Um, so what the, 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 uh, the talk kind of, kind of put together. Uh, um, this is your event? To, is this your event? You know, it's, it's uh, mine and Marianne. So Marianne okay, is, is really the person within Longevity who kind of put it together. And, and uh, uh, you know, there's a big uh, food movement uh, afoot. Um, uh, people are uh, kind of demanding better quality in food. And, um, and so I have, uh, because I'm an organic farmer, I, I kind of really uh, – have a lot of information concerning that, and uh, really had discovered why uh, why it's so important to be supplementing, and uh, and you know as, as it kind of tells you it all starts in the soil. So I've even uh, now partnered with a former USDA soil scientist, and and she has the very same thing to say about it. So it, soil it's a real depletion, deal. soil depletion as a cause of poor health. Yeah, uh, soil depletion, and that depletion. Gets a little bit more in, into uh, there's actual life in the soil, and this life uh, we we call it in a general category is microbes, and it's those microbes that are responsible for making minerals available to the plants, so the plants awesome. can be their healthiest. That's a, hang on right there. That's a great story because people don't understand that there's minerals and there's minerals, right? So you got minerals. Right that are just rocks, but then you've got these minerals that have been transformed by plants and microbes and all the livingness that's in the soil. And that's a completely different mineral, right? Yeah. It, it's, it's the, it's the mineral that uh, really is responsible for life. The other ones are just kind of stagnant. They're waiting to be transformed, but thus the uh, importance yeah. of these microbes. Yeah. These microbes uh, are responsible for that. And uh, they, there's uh, they call the word a symbiotic relationship between the plant and the microbes. So the plant actually makes extra sugars to feed the microbes and the microbes then hand over a mineral to the plant. And How do you like that? They do a little How trading, you? huh? Now, now, let me ask you something. The plant itself will also transform the mineral. So it's not just the microbes, correct? Um, well, you know, that... Um, uh, I guess that is somewhat of debate, but in, okay. I think in a general sense is that plants cannot produce minerals. The minerals have to come from the soil. I see. So if the plant is actually not doing the work. The microbe is doing the work of transforming the mineral. Right. So, wow. um, uh, so there's a, there's a, well, I'm going to call it a new uh, growing system, a foot farming system, but it's actually old. It, it's something that uh, Professor Albrecht taught uh, many years ago. And, and as we know, this is the professor in which Dr. Wallach uh, learned under. And um, they knew that, that, that minerals were very important to the development of plants, and they were observing animals in where they would graze. And the grass was green everywhere, but the animals would always graze this one area, and they would go over and, and take soil samples and figure out what was going on. And it was it was because the most the highest concentration of uh, plant uh, available minerals were in that area, and so the the cows knew where to eat. Yeah, Isn't that know interesting. Where to go. I, yeah. Now, what what is the impact of things like fertilizers and and uh, glyphosate, pesticides, and that kind of thing on the soil? Uh. You know the the impact. Uh, so fertilizers is interesting. Uh, we, um, uh, we use uh, ammonia. Uh, no, we use nitrate, uh, nitrogen that is derived from natural gas, and um, so we see a lot of drilling and fracking going on around, uh, especially here in Colorado. And it's like, my gosh, where are they using all this? And and. When you get down to it, a big a big user of all that uh, natural gas goes right into into uh, what we call conventional farming and GMO farming. Uh, and because the plants are not 
strong enough to extract nitrogen from the air, which they're designed to do. That's how a forest works. And so by pounding them with pounding them with nitrogen, they lose their ability. They they become weakened at the. They can't absorb it themselves. They become weaker that way. Yeah, and, and how about how about this one? They become addicted to drugs, kind of. <laughs> that's that's really cute. I mean, you know, what's even worse when they don't need to pull it out of the air. They don't need the nutrients themselves. They they become less nutritionally valuable themselves because they don't have to make all these substances, these phytonutrients, which are used to help pull the nitrogen partially anyway, to help pull the nitrogen out of the air. So so they become less nutritionally valuable as they become more addicted to drugs, as you say. So Absolutely, and, and in fact, yeah, without the drugs, without the constant uh, intervention with with the uh, what we're going to call ag chemicals. These plants would not survive on their own. They're that weak. Wow. They're like the runt of the litter. In a, in a, <laughs> yeah. Right? They're and the so, runts. We're, we're eating runt vegetables, basically, correct? Yeah. Well, yeah. And there, there you go. That's why we, we ourselves are so nutritionally deficient is because yeah. we're, even if we're we eat eating salads. inferior, inferior even if, foods. Even if we're vegetarians and we eat only vegetables or we eat a lot of vegetables, we're still not getting the same kind of nutritional value from our vegetables that even probably 30 or 40 years ago that we used to get. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, you know, that's another misnomer. So you like, oh, I'm going to eat broccoli and spinach and kale and all the, all the really healthy ones. Uh, the next question you got to ask is how are those grown? Because yeah. if they're just grown in the same system that's, that doesn't have all the nutrition in the soil, they, they won't be nutritious themselves, even though they're supposedly uh, are supposed to be, but uh, it, yeah, you really have to look at it, what soils these are grown in. Thus, the importance of organic farming, like yourself. What do you? Yeah. What do you? Or, or organic farmers like yourself. What do you say to people? Say, oh well, organic doesn't really matter. It doesn't you go either way. It's just a bunch of way to spend extra money. Have you heard this before? People saying this. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, quite honestly, I, I'm going to have to say that organic could be a lot better than what it is. It's really kind of a a, a minimum standard, if you will, and there's so mm. much more that could be done. Hey, hey hold on to that thought, Glenn. Hold on to that thought. You don't have a phone number by any chance, do you, for people to call? Why don't you, uh, I, can you get I'll one? Get one dur- yeah, get one during the break, and then we'll come back, okay? We're talking to Farmer Glenn about soil and dirt, and also... Uh, We'll be doing, uh, myself, Dr. Wallach, and Farmer Glenn will be doing an event in Walmart, Colorado next Tuesday. I think that's the fourth, but we'll get some more information when we come back from our break. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this commercial. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Farmer Glenn about uh, the soil and uh, Farmer Glenn's an organic farmer, the importance of organic farming. Uh, Glenn, you there, buddy? Yeah, I am. Did you get any info about our talk? Yeah. Um, so the uh, the talk is uh, like you were saying. It's February sixth in Longmont, Colorado. It's going to be at the uh, Best Western Plus Plaza. That's off of uh, 1900 Ken Pratt Boulevard. All right. So, but I'm also will. Um, uh, is there a number? I don't see a number to call, but. Um, uh, I will give my blog site, Ben, if you'll let me. And, yeah, um, go ahead. People, people can find it there. Uh, so uh, Farmer Glenn blog at wordpress.com. Farmer Glenn blog at wordpress.com. Okay, yeah, put, yeah. put some information on there if people are interested. People are listening from Colorado and they want to attend. Uh, Doc will be there at 6 o'clock. I'll be talking at 4, and I guess uh, Dr. Winkler will be talking about his, uh, I, what is it called? What's the name of his product? Do you know? It's it's a hyperimmunate, which is really interesting. So I twenty six. I twenty six, uh, right? Yeah, I twenty six, yeah. which is a really interesting product. In fact, I'm going to get Doctor Wink. Maybe I'll get him on uh, uh, before he does his talk. That's a good. I'll call Marianne. We'll we'll talk a little bit yeah. about his IP six. It's a really neat uh, digestive health supplement. Digestive health supplement that he formulated, and they're getting folks are getting really good results with that. We'll talk about that in the next few days. And then uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, Farmer Glenn. You were talking about organic farming in the soil, and also about yeah. the a drug addicted, drug addicted plants. They so get they get pounded with nitrogen from fracking, from gas, from from gas yeah, extraction yeah. extracted via fracking, and then they, they, they become may. weaker. And this idea of weakening the plant is is really a strategy that also applies to, or a problem I should say, that applies to glyphosate and fertilizers as uh, pesticides and fertilizers as well. Would you say? 
Yeah, the uh, actually the the application of the nitrogen causes uh, an outbreak of weeds of all things. And, and uh, as you as we talk about this, I want you to think about the parallels of the body. So, um, so then they have to then create a, what they call a an herbicide uh, that uh, attacks weeds. And uh, so the weed killer uh, is is uh, supposedly been safe, but that. Uh, um, is now being greatly disputed, and in fact, there's now uh, many scientific reports reported pointing to the fact that that weed killer is killing the microbes in the soil. So we've then effectively stopped the very thing that was responsible for delivering uh, micronutrients to the plant. We've killed that off, and so now our plants have to be on this uh, agricultural regiment of sprays to keep them alive, uh, and um, it, I, because of why we're all so sick. Well, so this sounds like horrible news. Are we doomed, or is there anything we could do? <laughs> no, there is really good news. Uh, okay. And that's, uh, thanks for saying that. Uh, we, there's an agricultural system that, um, again, I'm going to say it's new, but it's really old. It, it incorporates the Albrecht system. It incorporates uh, biodynamics. It incorporates the permaculture type things. And animals, I know what none of that means, by the way. What's that? I know what none of that means. I'm sure. Okay, well, uh, these are just old farming methods, if, if you will, that uh, essentially after World War II got shelved because we wanted to, um, our government uh, wanted to go to a petrochemical based uh, agriculture because they didn't know if they were going to have to fight another war, so they wanted to keep that 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 machine moving. The petrochemical machine also probably a lot of profit to be made. So in other words, we took over for nature. Nature had a way of taking care of itself, and we decided we were smarter than nature. This is where the drug the drug metaphor probably comes in because we're always smarter than the body. Body, body's dumb, and it's probably nature and the soils are dumb, too. So we need to take right. over, right? Is that the logic? Yeah. The okay. logic is, right, nature has the best plan, and nature can outperform all the, all the technology we've come up to thus far. And that's we what permaculture – that's what the that's permaculture, permaculture – That's Yeah, that's, that's getting back to uh, growing uh, and feeding and taking care of microbes. So growing soil is, is a new deal. If you do that, then the soil will grow – Wait, 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 hang on. That's too cool. I got to stop you right there. Growing soil. Is that what you said? Yeah. In other words, yeah. cultivating the soil, nurturing the soil, loving the soil, right? It's right. But, it's just like the uh, body. It's just like the body, yeah, just, loving, the so- loving the soil, the body, and loving the microbes in the body, too. That's right. That's right. Yeah. If you, you know this, Ben. If you take care of the microbes in your, in your digestive system, that you've, 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 you've solved 70% of the problem right there by itself. On a scale yeah. of 1 to 10, how important are the microbes in the body and how important are the microbes in the soil? On a scale of 1 to 10. 10.11. Uh, 10. 10. 11. 11. 11, it's, right? It's 11. Here's, here's, here's another interest. You probably already said this to your listeners, but, uh, you know, out of, out, of, uh, uh, out of the 1 in 10 cells in yeah, our right. body are, mic- are, I know. are microbial. There's right? microbes on your eyeballs. There's a cloud right. of microbes we all walk in, <laughs> our own personal you. Our own personal microbes are emanating off our bodies. Yeah, so we take care of the soils and the microbes that ends up on the food, by the way, yeah. that we eat, that ends up in our, in yeah. our digestive systems. Yeah. It, it's, just, it, it's, it's the perfect plan. Now, the microbes are responsible for releasing the minerals. Now, the other, the other problem is, is that, you know, not all the farmlands are created equal. I mean, I, uh, I, my family's got farms in the desert, and it's kind of sandy there, and so you're not going to find a lot of minerals other than sand. With, you know, uh, and so a well balance uh, of trace minerals is also need for that plant to have its healthiest life. Oh, by the way, when the plants have all the all the micronutrients they need, all yeah. the micro uh, all the trace minerals, yeah, they they develop an immune system that that resists pests and disease. Wow! And can you give them higher? Can you... Go ahead. Higher compounds that bugs do not like the taste of, and then will fly off and go somewhere else. So wow. bugs uh, uh, are actually nature's answer for cleaning up messes. And oh, so, when, so the weak they take care of the they get rid of the weak plants, the plants that that's don't right. have. Oh, so and then by killing off the bugs, of course, we have more weak plants. This is a big yeah. mess, Farmer Glenn. 
So, so it help is, us well, out. I'm I'm very depressed now. So help us well, out. That's that's so we're I'm I'm getting active in teaching the, the solution how to do this, uh, and and I found some people who already know what this is all about. I'm not I'm not you know making all this up on my own. There's some really smart people that have been after this for quite a while. And uh, it's time has come. I've I've been talking with uh, uh, a, a documentary, a, a, um, a filmmaker who uh, is coming out with a, a film called um, Kiss the Ground, and it's going to be excellent. So when he, it does, there's a book out right now. I would suggest people read. Which one? And what, what book? Kiss uh, the Ground. Is that the name of the book? Kiss the Ground. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to look yeah. into that. I hadn't heard that. Kiss the Ground. Okay. Good. All right, and, and that's all about have, that's all about the they soil have the solutions, and yeah, and then so the other thing is is that uh, some some of the farmers that I know too, so I said, well, you know, that's just all small acreage stuff. But we got a guy in in I think in South Dakota by the name of Gabe Brown who's doing five thousand acres, and he's he's developing more soil. Uh, carbon that he's got like over eight percent, which is huge, and so this also then helps with um, uh, the ozone thing that's happening, the greenhouse gases, because uh, soil can store all this free carbon that's up in the air. So all the CO two can be drawn down from the plants and stored in the soil, and can help with uh, with the global warming, climate change. You know, whatever's happening in, in that respect. So the soil so. can kind of act like a buffer against the, the nasty stuff that's being pumped out into the air and all the CO2 that's accumulating. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, in fact, when you when you bust it up, here's the other the other piece when, you know, we do all this plowing and disking and tilling, and uh, that releases carbon back out into the air because we kill the microbes. And, and so the microbes are, again, responsible responsible for storing all that and once we have lots of carbon in the soil it grows the best food uh and and things are back to way nature had designed it to be that that's awesome all right give the give a plug out for uh, glenn uh glenn farmer glenn blog dot com, at, at wordpress right yeah at wordpress.com yeah okay farmer glenn blog and, then, and that, yeah we only got a few seconds there, here there you'll find an event page, and uh, you can you can uh, you'll find this event on Tuesday. And then, uh, if you're a, a gardener or a farmer and you want to learn how to uh, garden and farm using these methods, uh, we are teaching that. Um, and one other person that's talking on Tuesday that uh, you left out is is uh, Dr. Mary Lucero. She is the uh, former USDA soil scientist. So okay, good. I did not know that. I think I talked to her on the phone, though. That's awesome. That'll be a fun event. Yeah. Thanks so much, Farmer yeah. Glenn. I'm, I'll see you next Tuesday, okay? All right, Ben. Thank you. All right, buddy. Good to talk to you. Farmer Glenn, my friend. And uh, go to Farmer Glenn's blog to check out the, the schedule of events for February the 6th. That's next Tuesday. All right, that's all the time we have for today. We'll continue cortisol and cholesterol tomorrow. Please check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com and all our longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Farm, Farm Spend Fuchs. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.